Good evening everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are going to be using the uh, map in the island living pack in order to make a boathouse in The Sims 4. I am super excited by this. We're not going to go with a very modern looking boathouse. I think I'm going to go with a bit more maybe rustic. I don't really know whether you'd call it that. But I want it to be like very wooden, very comfortable, cozy kind of boathouse. We're obviously going to do a little dock as well that gets us onto that actual boathouse. I think it's going to look super cute but let's crack on and build that today. So obviously we're going to start off with our dock. So for that, I'm thinking that we could just use, we could use a foundation, but I'm worried that that's going to mess everything up. So what I might use is just a platform for this, just so we can get actually onto the boat. Obviously, it's going to make sort of a foundation, I guess, anyway. And I'm just going to drag it. We'll, we'll have it be two. I think that looks fine. We're using obviously quite a small lot for this. I don't really want to do like a massive boat. I think it'll look a little bit better if it was smaller. Actually, we'll, ju we'll just do it as a foundation. I'm sure that'd be fine. That looks about right. I think it might need to actually come out a bit more we could do a little step at the end anyway but that's looking pretty good obviously what we're going to use is the dock that's like these so a couple of different ones that we could use we could either go with this one or this one that's got a lot smaller sort of foundation to it i kind of like this one personally just because it looks a little bit better with these kind of thicker foundations then obviously we're going to go in with some wood so i'm just going to find one that's kind of the same color i guess i think it might need to be like more just flat panels so would this one maybe do better yeah this one looks pretty good obviously something like that works quite well i think we do need a dock in order to actually get onto the boat so that is pretty important so obviously the way that the boat would normally work on this kind of island living is if i just placed a square down like this we've got all of that foundation obviously that we had for the same dot and we don't want that because it wants to be floating on the actual water so if you've seen i did i think a canal video a while ago and there's a technique that you can do to have it so it's sitting perfectly on the water that's what we're aiming for here so i'm gonna show you how to do that and we're gonna use the land in order to do that so basically all you want to do is just add in a little square you can change the size after so it doesn't it doesn't need to be the exact size of your boat at the minute add a second floor to this because basically the entire boat is going to technically be on well i guess like the first floor second floor for americans we're gonna delete this ground floor and of course this little platform and then we have a floating box if you watched my like treehouse video i did the same thing there as well so this floating box is basically going to be the ground floor level of your boat we can then move around this box as much as we like but basically to move it from side to side you're going to stretch it out and then make it smaller again never use the move tool because i'll show you now if we moved it it would then put it back on the ground again and then obviously to move it up and down you're going to use this bit here then what's very handy is if you pull it all the way down it will actually just connect it straight up with the water which is perfect there's no trying to second guess where it's going to land it is perfectly now on top of the water here so now that we have our base we can start building up the actual boat so i'm going to have this boat be two levels I think we're going to have a lot of the living being done on like the sort of section that's underneath the main part of the boat so it will look somewhat large this boat just because we do have a lot going on underneath it and then i'm gonna have basically like some decking around the top part i think the difficult part that i'm gonna find is just trying to like get the shape to look quite nice i'm gonna have it maybe sticking out like this so that it's basically sideways or would it actually i'm trying to work out whether it'd be better to have it so that it's lengthways with the dock or whether it looks a little bit better just having it here i think we'll do it lengthways from the dock otherwise it'll look a little bit strange so we're gonna pull it over here i think that's probably gonna be pretty good good it looks about right something that i'm contemplating as well is obviously having like rounded edges that can be a little bit tricky when it comes to doing boats so i'll try and see what kind of looks best but i know i definitely want a pointed tip to the end of our boat so i'm gonna do that first so we need it to be symmetrical in squares so i do just need to add one more there and then we're gonna have it so that the end is like this i would definitely recommend having this on the lowest wall just for the ground floor where you're going to have all of the like living areas and stuff just because it's going to look very tall otherwise you don't want it on like the medium otherwise you might have problems so we might have to wiggle this around just to work out getting the stairs that lead to the actual dock i'm half tempted to actually just add in a little side section here that's gonna allow us to get onto the dock a little bit better what we can do is actually just pull this out like this remove all of this section and then we then have a slightly bigger section for us to walk onto the actual 
natural by itself. I'm half tempted to also duplicate this and just add it on to the other side so that it looks a little bit more like a dock. We could even put like another boat over on this side maybe just for looks. I am actually to make it a little bit look a little bit nicer I'm actually going to lift this dock up a little bit and we can have it dip down into some stairs near the end because I don't think you'd have these foundations be that close to the water anyway. It looks a little bit odd. So I'm going to lift it up to be maybe like that big and then over here we can do some stairs. So I'm going to split it off. We'll do it here as it starts to meet the sand and then I'm going to bring... Actually, I can't bring that down. Okay, what we can do instead is actually then just drag it all the way over here and then we can add in some stairs that way. And that's going to be kind of the end section of our pier. So I've added an additional look platform here just so that it kind of looks like it matches up a bit better. That's now looking pretty good. I like that. So this is actually going to be our main section we walk onto. So we do want some stairs over here. And this is where we're going to have to maybe wiggle around this size again and just try and make sure that it matches up, which is the bit that can take a little bit of trial and error to try and work out. I am going to go with these kind of stairs just because they kind of look like ones that you would pull out to get onto your boat that you can then tuck back in. Alternatively, you could use like these ones. I think they would kind of work as well. And then maybe these ones too. Anything that's kind of got that sort of grated look. So for these ones, if I went like that, you can technically get off. It does look a little bit stuck. So I might actually, it, it looks like it's a little bit like too close to this edge, I think. So I'm just going to grab it and basically pull it up a little bit more. This might mess around with our stairs. No, it looks okay over there actually. Then we can add them back in, see how they look. They're a little bit better now. I am going to double check as well with a sim and just make sure that it is usable just so that we don't build all of this and then realize that it isn't usable. Alternatively, we could have actually the stairs coming over this side, but it's a bit too close and it wouldn't actually link up. But I'm thinking we could do the stairs there and that looks pretty good. I think I would rather it be a slightly different colour though, to be honest. I think the orange looking ones are a little bit better. I'm going to test it now with a sim and just double check that we can actually get on this boat. Okay, so that does all work fine. So we can now go ahead and actually start decorating the boat or anywhere around it. I think what I'm actually going to do is very quickly just make the beach look a little bit nicer. I might, I am still tempted to add a second dock just so that it looks a little bit less like we kind of just have this random like dock with nothing else around it. The only issue with that is that if we did that we wouldn't be able to do it as large because we do have this very long edge section here to get it to be the same length i'm just going to make it all one dock and then we can delete some bits off the inside so we've basically added our dock back in now and we can go ahead and add the same section over here that we had over there and i'm just basically duplicating it on the other side it doesn't look too bad but i think it's taking up a lot of space i'm going to just make it a little bit smaller i think that looks a little bit nicer now i kind of want to make this feel a little bit more like a public space because obviously these docks kind of would be a public space where you would kind of like come and sit and things and I think the way I'm going to kind of do that is just by adding like some maybe umbrellas and things to it as well and obviously I might add some like chairs and things even to the end of the dock which I think will look kind of nice as well. I want to add some like little trees and things too so we could add like a couple of these just to these edges and make it look a little bit prettier. We do obviously have some beach towels so I think I'm going to add those too. So I've added just some towels down and then we've got a little bucket as well and of course an umbrella just to keep you at the sun. I've lowered this down as well just because I think it might be a better idea to have one slightly higher one for the boat and then obviously a slightly shorter one just because we do have a few outdoor like activities that would be quite good to include such as like we've got um, where are they? Got like jet skis somewhere. Here you go. Yeah, we've got some jet skis here, which we can include just next to this dock here. And I might add like a couple of those. We'll just put like two there, just so that it makes sense that you can get on the jet ski from this dock here. I might even just include a couple of bits coming out, which make it look m like it makes a bit more sense. Kind of like how we've done over here. There we go. I think that looks a little bit better. Yeah, it looks like it m makes a bit more sense all kind of going in there. I'm going to add a couple more bits over here as well, just to the end of the this dock just because it's looking a little bare at the moment. Might add like a fishing sign just over here so that it looks like you can fish off of the end of this pier even though the actual sign itself goes all the way down for some reason into the water which is a little bit odd. Might additionally just add some little fish just around this area where you can actually go fishing. Just add a couple like 
that and I might just add a few over here as well. And then finally I did want to add just some little seats over on this dock too just so that it looks like you can kind of sit there. I want the ones that you can just kind of pull out. So like these kind of camping ones I think will look pretty good there. We'll just do like a couple of these green ones. But again I think that does look pretty good now so now we can go back to our boat and actually continue to make the boat now. So obviously our boat is a little bit small. It's not like yeah it's not like that big so it's gonna maybe be a little bit difficult to actually be able to do this but let's see if we can make it look pretty good. Obviously that front section isn't gonna be particularly like anything that we want to do anything to so I'm gonna make this kind of our area where we can steer the boat. Again we're not gonna have like a massive amount of space I'm kind of hope I like kind of wish that I'd made it maybe just like a little bit bigger. So I'm I am still tempted to just like drag it out and actually make it a bit bigger. But obviously we've got this point to the end, and if we did that, I don't think it would work as well. It'll be fine. We'll do it as a small house. So I'm gonna drag this all the way over here, and then we can do maybe a bit going in there, or we can give ourselves a bit more space by doing it like this. Have it be a bit more of a unique shape. Gives us a bit more room on the outside of the boat as well. Because I don't think this top part you would normally have being that like big anyway. Obviously we're going to need an edge going around the entire boat too so that we can put some kind of fencing there. And the idea that I've got is that I might be able to do some kind of roof over here to give it a bit of like a curved front section. Which I don't know if that's even possible but we'll see whether I can do that. I'm thinking we could use something like this to be able to do it. Although then we'd have this part kind of digging into it so I don't know if, <laughs> whether that would even work. I'm gonna fiddle around with it let's see if we can work something out because that does look not that bad but obviously then we've got all of this section that's quite not looking that great on this side I wish we had like this corner but I don't think we even have anything like that another alternative is just that we raise the whole thing up so that it kind of hides this but it would have to be quite raised in order to do that but at least then you could still go at the front of the boat which I guess kind of works but you need some stairs or something to get up there let's add in our fencing and then we'll work it out from there see if that looks okay so I'm thinking we just go with like some metal ones like this we don't i don't want to go like too modern with it to be honest and you wouldn't really have like wooden ones just because it would go like really rotty if you left it there especially when you're on the sea something like this also works quite well i think and if we went with the orange one it matches the stairs that we've done too so this is what we've currently got it doesn't look that great let's see if we can kind of fix that at all so i'm just kind of moving the roof around seeing whether i can come up with a better design design for this. I'm kind of liking this design to be honest though. It does not look that bad. So basically now I just need to work out some way of making this little corner here look good. So I'm thinking we could maybe just add some more of these but it looks a little bit off. What if we just made it really flat? Actually it's not that bad. I kind of prefer it looking like that and then being really flat because at least it's the kind of same roof. So now I think what we can do is can I add one of these just to this edge part like this? Yeah that works. And then obviously I want to change the roof so that it doesn't look like it's a roof for a house. So something like these look a little bit better. Or do we have anything that looks a little bit smoother? See if I was going for a more modern look this would be perfect. But I don't think it looks that great. And if you do it in grey again it's still got like that too much modern look about it. I do weirdly think that this one just kind of works. I don't think I've ever used this roof but it does actually kind of work for this boat. I think maybe let's colour the outside and then we'll reevaluate that. But we definitely need to add one of these panels to it as well. I think maybe a darker one. Yeah, something like this works quite well. That's looking pretty good already, I think, though. Something else that we need to add as well is a rim to the entire bottom part of our boat. I'm just going to go with this sort of neutral coloured one. I'm going to actually cut. Let's colour the boat first because I think that's kind of important. But this is pretty much the shape of the boat that I was thinking. I might alter the back part just because we do need some stairs that get down into the actual boat itself and we don't have that currently. I think what we could probably do is actually just split this section off here and then this can be our entrance downstairs but then we do have a bit of a weird shaped boat but to fix that we could just do something like that it does give us not that much space on the outside of our boat though and I did kind of want there to be like some seating or something out there alternatively we could do something like that I think it needs three though in order to actually be able to get downstairs so let's extend this out a little bit more and then that could be our stairs to get 
down. I think that should be about right. And then we still have quite a lot of space outside too. Obviously got to think about the top part of our boat as well. And then I think I'm going to have kind of the same problem trying to do a roof for that than we do over here. Alfme is tempted to actually use this roof, which looks a little bit odd, but it does actually kind of fit the size that we have. And then we could just add these here. If I can just drag this over, make it a little bit bigger. Hopefully it can connect up a little bit. Not particularly. What if we make this smaller? There we go. That kind of works. Does it look better if we add this in? Yeah, it does actually look better. Then obviously we have our rim as well. Let's see whether that helps. Obviously we need a second roof over here too. Why do I kind of like this with the trim just like pointing out a little bit? It weirdly looks better. I think it's just because it looks a little bit more unique. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. I kind of like that. It looks odd, but I actually think it looks kind of cool. Now I'm contemplating pulling this all the way over here just so that we have some edges here so that you can sit outside and not be soaking wet. I kind of do like that. I do think the roof maybe needs to be a bit smaller but obviously then that's going to affect our front section how's that look that looks okay then we can get rid of this one yeah i kind of like that more just so that we can actually have like some seating down here and you don't get soaking wet if it's raining outside let's go in now and add our doors so this other side here is where we're going to have our stairs that lead down so i think it'd be better for the stairs to be on the other side or we can have them right at the back let's just do it here i think here will be fine i do kind of like this door it's a bit weird though i don't think you'd have that on a boat something like this kind of works i feel like you would actually have windows though weirdly enough so something like this would probably be a bit better i'm trying to steer away from ones that look like they would very obviously be on a house weirdly this kind of works i think it's just because it's got that kind of round porthole so i'm gonna go with that one and then i think we do need some little pillars on both of these edges here where we've got the roof overlapping although adding them in they never seem to connect up which is kind of annoying if we go with the smallest ones i think that's as close as we're gonna get it doesn't look too bad i think it's fine then we can go in and actually start adding some walls now which is kind of what I've been saying I'm going to do for this whole time. I definitely think for this top section here something like wooden panels would actually be fine. Ones that go like up like this or we could do like a little bit of a mix of it maybe. We could do white maybe across the I guess white's quite modern though but I was thinking something like this that you could have across the side there. We can do the same thing on this side maybe connect it up here and then maybe do something different to back part and the front part. Why am I thinking like concrete type texture might work something like this yeah that actually looks kind of cute it matches the same color as well as this wood that we've got here so it actually kind of works we can do the same over here there's gonna be a lot of windows on this front part anyway so i don't know if it matters too much but i then want like a darker color i think down here yeah that kind of works it's looking pretty good i kind of like it so far then obviously we need our trim that goes all the way across this bottom part here okay so we do need a edge that goes all the way across the bottom so i'm just i could do one in the middle actually as well just to make it look like it's kind of all joined together i'm just trying to find one that's the right kind of shade i think this one's probably as close as we're gonna get although it is a very ready colored maybe actually this one because it matches the wood that we've got over there yeah i think that actually works a little bit better then let's have a look and see whether we can get some little like portholes that we can put over here it seemed really weird to me that you can't just get like plain round windows they all have like something inside of them like this one's got like a cross hatch in it this one also kind of works but it's like way too big i think i'm actually gonna set on this one that's got the little cross hatch it just kind of works a little bit better with this kind of more rustic style we're going with i'm just gonna add three i think going all the way across here yeah that looks pretty good and we'll do the same on the other side i think symmetry is always something that i think is quite important when making like a boat just that it does look the same on both sides there we go so that's looking good so far we've obviously got our top section as well where we can add way more windows and i do want there to be quite a lot because i want there to be a lot of natural light i might actually lower this just one just so that we can get a bit more light in i'm gonna see once we add our windows in though i'm actually half tempted to just do it like this but how does that look on the inside it doesn't look amazing because you can see all the way through to that roof there so it probably is best if we don't do it like that what i'm kind of looking for is something that's got a two section so like one that's two squares and then we want a similar one that is one square for these side parts here something like this i feel like actually really works but i don't think we have something similar in a one square there you are let's do the inside first so we can get a better idea of the layout and then we can reevaluate this just because i'm thinking that we might have some actual counters over here and that would actually resolve the issue of seeing the roof so i'm gonna start by just adding in some lights just so that we can actually see what we're doing here i do actually kind of want this whole section here to be open where you go downstairs let's put our stairs in then we can get a better idea of the space up here so obviously what i'm thinking is that we could do something like 
that that is okay yeah that's too close to that i forgot that we have to actually do it a little bit further in like this i'm also actually tempted to raise up this section in the middle here so that our stairs are a bit smaller perfect so that's so our stairs can fit in there we can go down and we can see them there definitely going to be quite difficult to be able to fit everything into this especially as we have this like little weird corner section there where you can then get down the stairs but let's see what we can do so yeah let's pop our lights in but me is actually tempted to try and maybe rotate this round but then that's going to leave a weird bubble where we've got a gap in our floor here obviously an alternative to save some space would actually just be to do a ladder which i am really tempted to do just here just because otherwise we really don't have that much space it'll obviously add more space as well downstairs which is quite important so if we popped it there that's to be fair yeah that's freeing up so much space so i might just end up doing that we can now have a look at doing our counters on this side and we can lower this back down again now so what i was thinking is that we could actually use kitchen counters to potentially do some kind of corner because i know for here we can get these in like a perfect triangle in the corner if we use like these edge parts here and basically we can just spin the whole thing around and pop it there which does look a little bit odd but i think it'll look fine once we start adding in the rest parts so if we did one there and then one here we can then do a straight across part here might have to wiggle it a little bit so that it fits a bit better in that corner if we do something like this just kind of want it to link up For some reason they've not come out like totally the same color but i actually don't really mind it we can then see if we put windows here whether they still get in the way so it's not exactly like tall enough which is the annoying part so we are gonna have to try and find windows that don't show the roof now, i'm contemplating these just because i think they kind of look cool and we can do it like that and then you can get these in a one square as well but they don't look the same really and the idea is that they obviously look the same as they rotate around another alternative that i'm thinking about is that we actually go with these windows and then we can just cover up the edges where you can see the roof with something else and i think i am actually going to do that just because it will make my life so much easier and it'll look so much better i'm going to go with these windows just because i think the colors look a little bit nicer and they let in like a lot of light so we can loop those around and that also makes a lot more sense for having such an open window so that you you can actually see while you're actually sailing the boat then obviously we need to do what i was just saying so we're gonna have to cover up this roof part and to do that i'm just gonna go see if i can find anything that's like a flat piece this might end up just being more complicated than it needs to be I did find this piece and this one's quite nice it does reach covering that if i make it slightly smaller it doesn't but this bit looks not too bad you won't be able to see as well though just because it is a little bit too tall alternatively this bit isn't too bad the roof obviously does you can see it through like a little bit i kind of like the pattern of this one though it looks a little bit nicer so if we did maybe two of these here that looks pretty cool then we can do one in this side part here problem is that it doesn't cover the whole section which doesn't make it look as good but i think we should be able to work something out basically just creating my own little corner over here just using various parts that i can find i think sometimes if you're just making something completely unique that is kind of the direction you need to go in and just kind of hope that it looks okay when you come out at the end we obviously do have a wheel as well which we're definitely going to use i'm gonna stick it right here and that looks so much better more like a boat we can get it in this more wooden color as well then weirdly the final piece that i'm actually going to go in with i think is going to be one of these corner like pillars just because it does cover that little edge that looks a little bit rough i'm just trying to find a really thick one so that it covers the entire area i think i'm just going to settle with this one it kind of look it covers it the best and it is the biggest pillar that we have so there's our little front section i am tempted to also add some additional bits to ac the actual cabinets here it would make sense that we'd have like some techie sort of looking stuff on top we could also just put some plants maybe make it look a little bit nicer put a little plant in that corner there let's look at some more decorations and things anything that kind of looks adventure i feel like looks pretty cool up here yeah i think that looks pretty good we can now move on to the rest of this tiny little cabin or actually let's maybe do some more on the outside because we definitely do still need to finish that obviously for the flooring i'm thinking we could just go with wood so that it's more like sort of decking try and match it up to the wood that we've kind of already picked around something like this i think looks quite nice it's a little bit more rustic and obviously 
obviously we do need some more windows so i want to add some more around here too. we could do the square version of the round ones that we've already picked i'm kind of thinking that longer windows might be might look a little bit nicer even if we just did like something like this how does that look that looks all right actually mm, or is it a little bit too modern i think we could make them look a little bit more rustic if we used something like this yeah i think that looks a little bit better the only issue i have is that it looks really strange with this roof section maybe it needs to be like more moved over here but then it's kind of digging into what we have there alternatively we could actually just do it like that where it's built into it which actually looks a little bit better yeah that looks pretty good then i'm thinking over here we can have just a little mailbox make it look a bit nicer and then we do need some nicer looking stuff over here on this side i think let's look at wall decorations for that or actually the mailbox might be a little bit better over here next to the door so do you feel like you would have like this kind of bunting on this back section i don't really want to add like a massive amount to it just because it's quite a crowded space already but i do want some seating i think around this section here i think you should be able to get to it i don't know whether i want to go with like a two-seater or not something like this looks quite good or we can actually go with the more island living one which looks like that but i think it might be better if we have a bit more of a back section to it do quite like this one yeah let's go with that one that looks nice then you have somewhere to be able to sit and look over the ocean as you're driving the boat i do want as well like a painting easel just right at the bottom so that you can paint as you're going across the sea as well because that would be so cool we'll just add that right at the end there i don't want to add like too much to this like i said just because as soon as you start adding like quite a bit then it gets really full really quickly and we don't have a massive amount of space on this outside section anyway maybe we could have like a little welcome mat just underneath here something like this i think kind of works yeah i'm liking that that looks pretty good i don't think there's anything else really that i want to put outside so let's go over to the inside again now where what i'm thinking is that we could just have another little bit of seating up here this is kind of like your chill out space i think like sort of your living area i think you'd spend quite a bit of time up here so we do want it to feel comfortable i'm thinking maybe paneling would look quite good but like quite plain paneling we don't have a lot of space so we don't want to make it feel smaller than it is something like this might work yeah that looks pretty good actually it matches the color scheme quite well then for our flooring i am tempted to actually just use the same one as outside but it does look kind of weathered i would prefer it to look a little bit newer as it is inside instead something like this actually looks really cool but i don't know if it particularly works with like the being on the sea kind of feeling i think this one works quite well it's still quite used though we could probably make it feel a little bit cozier though definitely need some color in this room it's very dull at the moment pop that light over there and i'm actually going to add a second light down this end if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to like, share and subscribe. Okay, so I want a nice comfy sofa over on this side here. We definitely want to start making it feel a lot comfier now just because it is a little bit too rough and there's basically no colour in here. Thinking we could go with something like this actually because that looks, is that actually a little bit too modern maybe? We want to go with comfy but not too modern. Something like this I think works quite well. I don't know, it's a little bit too big. I think it's fine. I want to do like a little side table over here as well I think. And we did want to do a bit more colour so maybe I should have a look at maybe changing that to be something else you can't really get that many bright colors with this one though or we'll go with let's go with this nice peachy tone and then we could add some pillows to it that have a bit more color so we've got these pillows which we can grab some yellow ones or we've obviously got the pink ones i think these might work quite well if we grab those pull them up and then i'm just going to angle them slightly like this we'll do one on each side i think we'll do yeah we'll do these ones just makes the sofa look a little bit more comfy adds a bit more color and then i think we need a rug as well like in the center of the room just to get rid of that sort of wooden rough feeling something like this maybe don't really know how i feel about like the angle of it what if we made it a bit smaller and put it there yeah that looks a little bit better can we change the color can we get we can get a yellow one i feel like the yellow looks a bit funny though or alternatively we could try doing some more blacks maybe that kind of bluey tone kind of works then let's grab a side table over here again we don't want to go too modern obviously it does need to be somewhat of a small side table otherwise it's not really going to fit quite like this one but it's just a little bit too big so if we make it a bit smaller we can then fit it in this corner here and that is looking pretty good so far i think maybe let's grab a lamp i think we could do actually with some lights well, we won't do a lamp we'll maybe do a plant but i want to put two lights on these sides here so we can actually see when we're driving the boat go with maybe something like these these are quite nice 
adds into that sort of rustic feeling too. We do have all of this space over here as well, but I want to do sort of like a coat rack type thing. Obviously add our plant over there. This is looking pretty good so far actually. Then let's go over here and do our coat rack. Then let's pick one that's got like similar colours to what we want to use to bring in some of that brightness. I think this one's quite good. We'll flip it around and maybe put it here instead though. I'll just stick it in that corner. I am feeling like this sofa is now just like slightly the wrong colour. Let's see if we can maybe pick. I know that this colour is like a little bit more modern. Actually yeah, let's go with this brown one. I think that works a bit better. The peachy tone was definitely not fitting with what we already had in there. But this blue colour I think is definitely a good one just because obviously we are next to like we are on the sea so it makes sense to add that colour in. Then I do want some umbrellas next to here feeling a little bit more homely. And then I think we do need more plants as well. I am half tempted to add like a little TV over here as well so that this is basically the living room. I think they do tend to have that as the living room on a lot of boats depending on like I guess the, the size of it. You can do a little plant over in this corner as well. Okay so that's looking pretty good so far. I think we I'm gonna have a look at adding a TV here. I think it might be okay because you can kind of watch it then as well while you're steering the ship. We do have like these little ones as well but I don't know whether that'll work. And they've got like cabinets. It might get in the way of you being able to get downstairs though. I was more thinking like one of these ones that we can just put on the wall. I think that looks all right. I'll do it in black. Yeah that looks okay. It doesn't get in the way of anything and it kind of makes sense. I do want this to be a little bit more cluttered so I'm gonna add just a bit more random bits around. I think we could do a little picture over here as well. Let's go with this one and then maybe grab it in blue and uh, which one maybe that one because it's got the yellows in it. Then I'm thinking maybe we could do a mirror over on this side as you're leaving. This is looking pretty good so far. I did want to do a bit more clutter. I think maybe we could just add maybe another plant down here like that. I think that looks nice. We do have obviously this space here on this wall so maybe more pictures. I do just want it basically all filled. We'll go with this one that kind of looks like it's got the sea in it. I think that works well with our theme and then I think we can finally go downstairs now. So this is basically our sort of living area slash obviously where you'd actually drive the boat. Then we can go downstairs where we have a okay amount of space to be honest. We just need to work out how we want to split it all up. So obviously I'm thinking we can do something along here because we don't actually want to waste that space behind there. This will basically be our hallway and it doesn't need to be big because I think in a ship you tend to have quite a small sort of narrow hallways. Obviously we've got the front of this boat here where we don't have any windows so what we could do is try and add in a window like this. Obviously we do need a sort of kitchen and dining area so that could be this section down here. This can be our hallway kind of. We might need to make it a little bit bigger. We've got to work out how we want to do this random room here. Obviously we need a bathroom as well. The bathroom doesn't need to be like massive. What we could do is split the whole thing off like this. That can be our bathroom and then we can have two bedrooms here. I think that's all right. How many squares is that? So that's sort of basically three by three with a little added bit on and then this is a slightly smaller room. But that's looking pretty good. We've got a decent sized hallway and then this is like our kitchen area and we've got our bathroom there. So let's rearrange some of these lights now. Obviously we want to add some lights into the other rooms. These are very small rooms to be honest. I'm half tempted to actually, actually no because then you can't get in. I'm trying to work out if there's a way that we can make this, maybe this room a little bit bigger. I want to be able to put a double bed in somewhere. If we did it like this we put the door there and we still wouldn't really be able to add a double bed in and obviously then our bathroom is like absolutely tiny. We could do this and then this is a room and you could put the bed there. That does actually kind of work you just don't really have any storage space at all to put anything. Like you'd have like no wardrobes basically. You'd have no wardrobe space. Hmm. I am thinking of like a slight alternative. Say if we did this instead we could make this a part of the bedroom and that does add a bit of space in. So the, well, this is one bedroom which is just a super weird shape. We could basically have like a wardrobe over here, the door here, and then this is where the bed is. And then we can have a double bed here. I think that would work. And then obviously this is our bathroom. It's all very weird shapes, but it does somewhat work once we start adding the things in. I think it'll make a bit more sense. So let's go ahead and add in our doors. Each of the rooms does have a window as well, which I think is better than what I was kind of hoping. I was worried we wouldn't have all the windows in each room, which is fine as long as like we've kind of worked that out now. Let's do the same door that we did outside down here for 
this sort of kitchen area. I'm half tempted to actually put it there just because our kitchen... Oh, I guess our kitchen's going to be a weird shape anyway. We could just do it where the kitchen comes basically around these edges here. We'll work it out in a second. And then we need the doors for the rest of the rooms. So I'm thinking we just go with simple doors like this. I do need to put that there. Otherwise, we're not going to have enough space for a wardrobe. Pop this one there and then obviously our bathroom there. So we have managed to make this into a two bed, which is perfect. I prefer to try and do it as a two bed just because it makes it a bit more usable to actually play in. I'm going to use the same walls upstairs as in the hallway so we can add that there and I might do the same thing in here as well but it is a bit dark. Maybe it'd be better to try and do a bit of a brighter room. We could do it with green maybe or yellow even. I feel like the yellow one actually works a little bit better. Let's do yellow in that one. We could actually do something a little bit different with this back wall as well or we could make it very much brighter and we could go with green. I actually kind of like that. Let's go with that one. It's still got that paneling that we've got in the rest of the room so far. For the bedroom though I think it might be a bit better to just go with something a bit more simple as they are very small bedrooms. Even just something like this kind of works. Or we could just do it with one trim across the bottom. Yeah, that does bring it up a little bit, I think. Then we'll do, yeah, we'll do little flowers in that one. And then maybe just a plain one in that one. And we'll do that as sort of like a kid's room. Or like a teenager's room, maybe. That would also work. Then obviously we need our bathroom as well, which I'm thinking we actually just go with some wood like we've got up here. Or is there any like slightly nicer wood? I think wood would be perfect for the bathroom. Something like this. Yeah, that works. Perfect. So now we need some flooring. So let's go in and just do that obviously i'm thinking for the hallway we could just do the same wooden floor we've got up there then we could do the same thing in here too just it to be fair it does kind of make sense i think we could maybe change the color a little bit though something like this looks a little bit nicer yeah like that it matches a little bit better we'll do the same in here as well why not i actually do kind of like this flooring i might do it upstairs as well it looks a little bit like cleaner then of course we'll do some tiling in the bathroom i think smaller tiles might look a little bit nicer i think this one weirdly kind of works i can't really find any other tiles that work as well as that let's see if any of these would look better actually i think this one kind of looks better let's go with that then obviously we've got our bedrooms i am thinking carpet this is a boat so that seems a bit weird but i think it just makes it feel a little comfier in there we'll go with this like short pile one i think that looks a little bit better although i am tempted to actually do wood in this bedroom just because it's i think like the sort of adults bedroom and it looks a little bit nicer than the one in the kids then i think we're gonna start with we'll start with the hallway i just want to add like a couple of pictures maybe some like skinny plants and we'll just make it look a little bit nicer i'm thinking a rug maybe as well just in the middle quite like this one just because it's got these cute little roses in the middle adds like a little bit of color to the room just with the reds and i was thinking about adding plants but they would technically die because there's literally no light in there but this is a game so we could just add them anyway then i'm looking for like smaller pictures to be honest like little ones like this kind of work or what else have we got just make a couple of them a bit smaller i think that looks all right then maybe just one more picture on the other side and then we can move on to our living area or like dining area i guess and kitchen there you go do some little ones like that so that's looking a little bit nicer in there now now let's move over to our weird little kitchen. I'm tempted to do wooden slats all the way across this back section here. It's very wood heavy this build but I think that kind of makes sense given that we're on a boat. This looks quite nice but I think it's very modern looking. Problem is just trying to match up that wood colour that we've got in the rest of the room and if we can't find one that matches we might just have to leave it as is. Okay this one actually does match up pretty well so let's go with that one and then we can go in and do our kitchen. So this is going to be the difficult part. I'm not too sure how we're going to go about doing the kitchen. I'm thinking we can maybe do some appliances on this side then have the counters on this side and then obviously the dining table in the middle. I think that should look pretty good. Obviously it is quite a tight space so it's not the best but I do want that symmetry. I'm half tempted to move that over but I think it might look a bit odd. At the moment it's looking like quite nice. Quite like these. These feel very boaty. We do have this horrible corner over here though so I'm wondering whether it might be a bit better to do something like this in the corner so that we don't have that issue. We could do the same thing on the other side again but we would have to shift this i am really tempted to do it though just because it does look a lot better if we then move this over here that might make it kind of work we could actually let's pull it over a little bit maybe we need to move that picture i feel like that's looking a little bit odd yeah that looks okay that's not too bad it's annoying because it doesn't have the symmetry but i think this looks a lot better and it gives us more space to be able to work then obviously over on this side is where we're going to have our more 
appliances so we need our fridge and our oven and we do actually need a sink i realize that we technically only have one countertop space that's actually usable which is this one but we now don't really have enough space over here which is a bit of a problem i'm tempted to actually add it like here but we don't have the space for that either so we're kind of having issues here in actually fitting everything in we could have it over here though it's going to get into the space where our dining table is a little bit but we might be able to like push it up against the wall maybe we'll work out the dining table after though i think i really wish that they had a fridge that fit into a counter that would be so much easier okay so there's our fridge and our oven we do need a sink so i need to work out where i'm putting that how it's gonna fit in i'm thinking we could just go with like one of these ones and we could just put it there it does actually kind of work we could then maybe put a bin in the middle here and it kind of does actually soften this little corner here. I actually I actually kind of like it. I think it looks pretty cool. Then obviously we need to go in and add our remaining bits. I'm going to add our fire detector there. We've got quite a lot of space over here. So I might actually do some shelves and we can then add some additional bits up there. And I think that'll look a little bit nicer. Just going to go with these wooden ones and we'll maybe just add two. We could do another two above it as well. Then obviously we just need to fill it full of clutter, which I'll skip that bit for you guys because it's not that exciting. It's a lot of alt nine in order to raise it up. Okay, so I've added all of those bits into the corner. I also found this cute little like fruit basket that I want to incorporate as well. And I think I'm just going to stick that in the corner there. So now we've added all of those bits back in. We can add a bit more clutter to this countertop space here. Obviously, we want to leave this middle part alone as that's where we're going to be doing all of our actual cooking. We want to make sure that there's enough space there. But I think let's do this little glass and then I kind of want to leave it there. I do think maybe one more thing could be added there, but I'm not too sure whether that'll look over cluttered. And we could do like like a little jug or something yeah that looks a little bit nicer okay cool so i think that's kind of the kitchen space done we can then move over here so we do have a little bit of space here i might add like a like hand towel or something just over there we'll probably put it in this nice like orange color as well okay so this is looking pretty good we then have this whole space over here for our dining area i'm thinking we can maybe do some little like wicker stuff style rug underneath like this does that look a little bit odd maybe a little bit is there a different one that might look a little bit better they all look a little bit too rustic i think and they're very round so we'd have to have a round table for, to get it to work something like this also looks quite nice if we make it a bit smaller we can then pop it over here and that can be where our dining table is we'll put it right in the corner yeah that looks pretty nice actually obviously we do have all of this wall space as well which i'll work something out in a second but let's put our dining table and chairs in first so i think we go with something simple something like this probably works quite well obviously we've got to work out like where exactly i'm putting it so that you can fit all four chairs around the table because that's kind of going to be the difficult part i think do you quite like these chairs i think these are quite nice then obviously we've got to work out where these are going to go i don't want to do it too far where you can't actually sit at the table then we can move our rug a little bit as well so how does that look i mean it's pretty crowded but i think it looks pretty good i think maybe let's move this a little bit further that way i think that looks pretty good we seem to have like a decent amount of space around there so obviously i do want to do something with this corner section because it again it is a weird space but i think we can maybe add some like a big plant or something to this corner and then we need to work out what we're going to do on our walls too do you want to add some kind of plant to the table i think as well i think let's add that plant into the corner because it's nice and tall then i'm just going to add this little one to the center there just because we don't have a massive amount of space anyway then obviously we've got our walls either side so i'm thinking this side's probably a little bit better to put a picture on we do have this collection of pictures from the seaside which I think is perfect. So I'm definitely going to incorporate those. They are quite big, so I might make them just slightly smaller. Otherwise, it takes up a lot of space. We do then have more space over here. So I'm thinking we might be able to put some like aprons or something in that corner. Let's go with these ones. That looks pretty good. Then obviously we do have this side over here, which looks a little bit bare. So I'm going to see what we could maybe add. I think there is like some cute little shelves somewhere. So let's see if I can find those and we'll add those ones in. Yeah, these ones. How do they look? They're actually pretty cute there. I kind of like them. Let's add those there because I don't think that looks too odd. Then I think that looks pretty good for our little like kitchen dining area. Although the rug is slightly off, so I am just going to fix that because that's going to be really annoying. Yeah, I think that looks nice. Cool. Let's move over now. I'm going to do our bathroom. We have the perfect size for basically just having a bath shower across one side and then obviously having our sink and toilet on the other. So I'm thinking we maybe just go with this one here for, I'm going to put it on this side and then we can have our toilet over here. I'm just going to go with this sort of rustic kind of looking one. And then 
then we can go with this more rustic sort of sink as well because it kind of matches with everything else. Then of course we need a mirror in there too so I'm just going to add one above here. Do you quite like this one but maybe not in that colour. We got one that's a bit more brown. None of them really have the right shade. We could just do this kind of one that's like an actual cabinet. It's a little bit too big though I think. We'll just go with this little one here. Then I think we could also go with this above the toilet itself that just gives us a few more items makes the room look a bit more cluttered. I think that looks pretty nice actually. I may maybe add a rug but I'm gonna leave it I think just because that room's quite small and we have a lot of rugs already and I know I'm gonna want to put some in the bedrooms. So let's move over to now our I don't even know whether I want to make this into a kid's room whether I would rather it be like a teenager's room. Let's let's make it a kid's room I think or like a yeah we'll make it we'll make it a kid's room. So I think I'm gonna go with child for the age just because then we can still fit like a big double bed in here and it doesn't look too bad. I think maybe something like this is quite nice. It's got some under bed storage as well which I think you definitely need. Alternatively obviously we could go with a bunk bed just to give us a bit more space but we do have this bottom section so I think it's kind of all right. Then I am thinking we could maybe do like a little table at the end and just add a little TV. We could even, uh, no they're a little bit too big. Let's see if we've got anything that's a bit smaller. So this one actually looks pretty good. If we did this and just put it right at the end there it actually kind of looks like it's attached onto bed especially if we pulled it over a little bit. Yeah, there we go. And then we should be able to add a TV to the end. Hopefully it's the right angle, otherwise it might look a bit funny. It is. Okay, perfect. So we can put a TV right at the end there, and I am going to add maybe a lamp directly behind it. Or alternatively, we just use that as like space. I could add maybe some plants or something to it. Or we could have maybe one of these plants, which doesn't take up that much room. I think that actually looks a little bit nicer. Let's change the colour though. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Gives us the space. I might do like a little light directly above the bed though, like just on the wall wall area. Sort of like a nightlight but a little bit nicer. I think that one works quite well. We're kind of going with like some green tones now and then we definitely need some pictures because this is a kid's room but it definitely doesn't really feel like it at the moment. I think these ones look quite nice. Yeah those go, go with the colour scheme that we've kind of gone with. Then we do have this little space over here but obviously there isn't like a massive amount that we could actually do to this bit just because that is basically the end of the bed. You could maybe add something like this that's just like a little shelf but again it kind of takes up too much space. Let's maybe look at pictures instead. Something like this actually looks kind of cool. Yeah I quite like that. I kind of wish that it was a little bit longer though. Are there any that look a little bit like more stretched out? We do have like this big tapestry but it doesn't really go with the green colours that we've already picked. We've got this one. I kind of like that actually. Yeah that looks pretty good. Let's go with that one. Then obviously we've got a little hallway that we walk down in order to get to the end where I'm thinking we do a wardrobe and then a small like single desk just because we really don't have the space otherwise and I do think there should be a desk. This is feeling a little bit more like a teenager's room now though not gonna lie. Let's go with maybe just a little one like that and then we can do our desk too. I'm a little bit worried that even the desk actually isn't gonna fit in so we might just have to do a wardrobe. Yeah because otherwise I don't think you'd be able to actually get past. I think let's go with just this little one here and then we can add some additional decorations on top. So I'm with just a little plant and then we've got a cute little dog as well. Then I think we could probably do a little dog calendar too. So that is looking pretty good. I do think we need something in this middle section. I might just add like a full length mirror just because it is sort of close to where those sets of drawers are. We'll just go with like this slightly more modern one because I don't think it matters too much it being a little bit too modern. I'm actually half tempted to move these around. Put that there instead and then put the mirror there. Yeah I feel like that looks a little bit nicer actually. Okay so that's the sort of teenager's room kind of done. We can now move over to here where we've got our adult's bedroom. We should be able to fit a double bed I think in here. Let's go with this one. I think that colour looks pretty nice. Obviously the wood is slightly the wrong shade. Can we get it in a darker colour? Oh this one's actually nice. Yeah, that matches the kind of pinky colour we've gone with the room. It is obviously a very tight squeeze as you actually get into the room. Then we can add a little side table. I think that one's quite nice. Definitely need to add some more plants, I think, into this room. We can add one onto this side table. Then maybe let's add some lights both sides here and maybe add a picture as well. One there and one there. And then let's add a picture in the middle. We'll go with this one just because it'll add a little bit more colour. That looks pretty good. We do have a little bit of space at the end as well to be able to add in another sort of wardrobe. We go with this one probably. This looks quite nice. Then I want to add a little plant at the end as well. And I'm probably going to add a TV into that one as well. Go with this plant. It's quite nice. 
nice one. Problem is that it's also quite big. It's very like wide at the top. Let's see what else there is. Could add another one of these. Yeah, that looks all right. Then we can add a TV there. And then I'm thinking we could maybe add something else to this side. Maybe just some like candles or something. Let's go with these. I'm going to add two. And then finally, I think we need some kind of drapery maybe over on this side. And then I want to add a mirror there. We'll add the same mirror that we did over here though. And I'm just going to add it here. It does make it look a little bit more modern, but it I think just kind of works better. Then I'm thinking we maybe go with this one as the colors match a little bit nicer. Then there's our adult room as well. I think finally I just want to add like a little skinny rug along here just because this bit looks a bit plain. There we go. I think that's all done then. It looks pretty good. And there is our finished boathouse. I think this looks super nice. I think the fact that it's on the island living pack where it's actually on top of the water looks really cool. Last time we just ended up sort of making our own river when we did the canal boat. But I think this definitely gives it a different vibe and it looks absolutely awesome. I like the fact that we have some space on the outside and that we've got sort of a bit more of a communal sort of living area on the first floor that you walk into. I like that we managed to get like a decent amount of space as well, even though that this is still quite a small build but we've actually managed to sort of fill it full of loads of clutter, make it feel like really cozy to live in. And I'm glad that we managed to fit two bedrooms in there as well. Let me know what you think of this build in the comments below. This is titled Boathouse on the Gallery under Hextra Hunt. So if you'd like to download it, you can download it there. Be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already. I try to post a long video every week and I post shorts throughout the week as well. And if you enjoyed this video, another video is recommended on the screen now. So check that one out too. And I hope you all have a great evening.